All right, so boom, we already know what time it is. We are about to watch. This is why you never mess with an adult star. Don't really know what this is about, but we're gonna find out together. If you've never seen these women before, leave the video immediately. But if you do recognize them, you must know this. Yeah, I mean, I don't wanna go into too much detail. Like, honestly, some of my experiences are really humiliating for me. And I wish that they never happened. Right. Just okay. giving some examples. But you know, the girls are disposable, which you're told that when you come into the industry, like you're disposable, our relationship, Excuse like, me? yeah, they tell you that. And they say, bro, that's actually really insane. Like I get what type of industry it is, but to tell any human being that they're disposable is like actually fucked up. Our relationship with the producers is more important. So the agent's goal is to get you to do as much as you can for as cheap as you can. I mean, I'm I'm and very also, upset right now. And also to be you know, very, very pliable. So yes, you- So their business model is get as much out of you for as low as price as possible. This kind of makes sense to why OnlyFans would blow up so fast and so many of these stars would transition to it. Because people are watching for them and not so much the production and the companies. So that makes it make sense to why that portion of things blew up so well. But that's like actually kind of terrifying. You can say, oh, I don't want to do this. Or, you know, you can give demands like that. But you're then told that you're being bad. You're um, not going to be booked anymore because you're a diva. 100 million so people have them? watched this woman's videos. So how much do you think she made? And I read you only made $12,000 from it. Before taxes. Before taxes? Yes. Oh my gosh, you know. Hundred million people watch her videos. And some of y'all watching this has probably seen her videos too, for research purposes. But she only made twelve k off that. A hundred million views, twelve k. That's actually insane. That means that she was in there working hard, no pun intended, and she really didn't like profit off it as much as we would think. It what, like 12 videos? Yes. It's not just women who regret working in the business. And I could act and do what they needed. So my phone rang pretty soon. It started ringing a lot. The pain started to really set in of what I was doing. The realization, what I was doing to my family, my mother found out, grandmother, my brothers, my friends. Shame started to creep in, and I started needing to find a way to bury that pain. Watch this woman's reaction when she's asked how she would like people to treat her. Simple question, like, how would you like to be treated? I would, um, I wish that people would treat me how they would treat a married registered nurse with 2.5 kids. That's how I wish people would treat Okay, first of all, everyone should be treated like a person. That's just, that should be normal. But we know how the internet is. But I gotta point this out. 2.5 kids? Is that a baby on the way? Or what? What type of baby is the 0.5? Cause that's really throwing me for a loop. Before you listen to her account, just ask yourself this question. How would that lady's mother feel if she could see what was happening? I mean, I got called every degrading type of name you could imagine on camera, you know, with the added just demolish of my makeup. And, and like I was, they sought out to make me look as unattractive as possible in every way. And that's what their goal is. They, they want to completely ruin a woman on camera. If that doesn't repulse you, well, this will. This woman gone, age 35. This I'm like not gonna lie, like this does give you a whole different perspective of this industry. And we already know this industry is probably grimy, slimy, you know, they're moving crazy devious. But it really does like hurt to see some of these people. And yes, 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 we know they chose to be in that industry. But with this, even this segment that's here, like people are do are passing on or doing what she did for after experiencing the things I experienced in that career field and probably everything that's coming from the people around them, the media, 
That's a that's that's tough. Like for real. This woman gone, age 20. This woman gone, age 23. This lady was 20. This woman was 25, 23, 27, 33, 31, 19, 39, 27, 31, 50, 40, 21, 29, 27, 31. Wait, stop. Who are these women? These are the women who you watch all alone, late at night, when you think no one can see you. I wonder if I should say that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't say you. Like, it's me. Talk to the right people. Don't talk to me. This. But for the longest time, I used to believe that it was only a myth that these women who worked in this sector were mistreated in unspeakable ways sometime in their past, and that's why they ended up in this industry. But the fact is this. The more research I did, the more case studies I looked at, the more I realized that these truly were broken, vulnerable women who believed a lie about themselves. They believed that they were only good for one thing. And that list above proves just how much these women were hurting inside. And may I say something even more controversial right now? The question does need to be asked. As we look at the faces of all of those women, real people, we need to ask the question, if they never worked in that world, would they still be alive? today. After all, don't you agree that women were not created to have multiple partners, to be filmed doing the most private things and then plastered across all of the internet for millions of eyeballs to get gratification? And as much as I'm embarrassed to admit this to all of my subscribers, I know that I have contributed to the problem. If I and others around the world had not consumed this kind of content, if I had kept my eyes and my heart pure for all of my life, I know that these women some of them would most definitely be alive today. Everyone needs hope. And I know I might be in danger of sounding like one of these cheesy televangelists, but you might not believe in yourself. You might think there is no hope for me. Well, I believe there's hope for you, and I believe you will get off this. If you really want to, there is a power in God that no man can touch, that no man can stop, that all the powers of hell cannot stop. And if you want that power that the Holy Spirit can give you, you will come off this sin and you will not go back to it. But you might say, Joe, I can't even manage two weeks. How will I manage a hundred days? Well, to you, my friend, I'd say that was me also. You know, this is embarrassing, but I've got to be honest with you right now. I used to watch it multiple times a day and I could not get off it. You might say to me, every time something stressful happens, I go back there for comfort, to self-soothe. And again, that was me. There was a time, I know this wasn't true, but there was a time when I was so lonely that I felt like I had no friends, and my only friends were those women on the internet. <clears throat> I know it was a false world, but that's what I believed. You might think that, Joe, I have sinned away my salvation. There really is no hope for me. God has washed his hands from me, and he doesn't want anything to do with me. Well, if you think like that, I want you to know that at the very heartbeat of this book, there is hope, because this book speaks to sinners. Because Christ did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And while there was a saviour who bled and died on that cross, while that blood was shed, there is always hope. There is always cleansing. There is always grace. And whilst Jesus Christ is alive... In I'll keep it honest with you guys, right? If you ever feel like there's no hope, there's always hope. Whether it's in a community that you're a part of, friends that you have, if you don't have friends... So you have me, I guess. I'm here for you. But we're going to wrap this video up here. This one was like a heavy topic. So you guys already know what to do. Hit the like button. Subscribe. We're here forever. So you already know what to do.